Hi, my name is Shane Force. I'm from Atlantic Home Loans. I'm a sales manager and mortgage consultant here. And uh, just a little video, a little analysis that I've done. First, I'll tell you a little bit about myself and the company that I work for, and then I'll go into some, some numbers here. Thanks. So this is my contact information. Feel free to call me whenever you need me. But Atlantic Home Loans is a mortgage bank, uh, which means that 97% of our, our applications we process, underwrite, and close in our own office. Okay. So what we'll normally do is get the customer's contact information, um, get their, their, their income and assets and all that, and shop it amongst a number of investors that we work with. Maybe it's FHA, maybe it's a Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac loan, maybe it's um, through um, GMAC or Chase or MetLife or Hudson City or Bank of America, whoever that might be uh, at the time. And we will normally, um, depending on the investor or, the, or the, the program or the customer, we will get the customer's information and we'll, we'll see, okay, who, which investor on the back end is giving us the best rate and, that, and uh, or they're giving the customer the best rate and us the best price on the back end and uh, present that rate to the customer and uh, reserve the right to possibly sell that loan to the customer uh, or to the, to the investor down the road. So, so we'll be funding the loan with our own money most of the time and, um, and, and all the underwriting and processing is done in our office. Next slide. So a little bit of information about me. Uh, I've been in the industry for about 15 years now and uh, love this mor the mortgage business. It's changed drastically over the last five years. Uh, but I've worked for four banks in that time, in that 15-year time period. But uh, as the foreclosure started to mount and, and the economy got worse, uh, our guidelines have, have, have gotten tighter and we've had to tighten our belts just industry-wide. And Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and FHA kind of uh, have kind of uh, run that show and kind of required us to do more over the last five years. Next slide. So that's a little bit of information about me. But the, an analysis that I'm doing here is really, there's a lot of talk now of are we at the bottom? Are our prices, our home prices at their bottom? Are they going to drop another two, five, seven percent over the next few years? Uh, with there's some people are saying, hey, there's a lot of distressed inventory, short sales, and foreclosures that have got to come to to the market and work themselves through, and that's going to hurt us. Well, maybe that's true. Maybe maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Um, maybe we'll have a technology boom or a manufacturing boom. Who knows? Um, maybe things will just get better because the fundamentals of the stock market are good now. But maybe, let's just say that, that the naysayers are right and that we are going to drop in value by another 5% okay, over the next couple of years. And, and, and real estate is market to market and neighborhood by neighborhood, but let's just say that that's the case. What about the interest rate discussion? What about right now, interest rates are at phenomenal levels, so very close to record levels. We're not at record levels now, but we're about a quarter to three-eighths of a percent higher than the lowest rates that we've ever had. When I started in this industry 15 years ago, we were around 8%. Um, now we are you know, down around four, four and a quarter. So let's just say we picked a, a four and a quarter percent interest rate on a $300,000 mortgage on a 30-year fix. That principal and interest payment is going to be fourteen seventy-five. dollars Now let's just say, uh, things improve here, things improve in Europe, and the, the debt crisis in Europe gets, gets taken care of and Greece gets out of trouble. Rates could very easily go up a half a percent uh, or a full percent over the next 6 to 12 months after that would happen, maybe even faster. Uh, but let's say rates went up to 5 and a quarter percent on that same $300,000 mortgage on a 30-year fix. Principal and interest payment increases to sixteen fifty six on that same mortgage amount, same term of the loan. But the mortgage payment increases by $181 a month as a result of that 1% interest in the interest rate, in the interest rate from four and a quarter to five and a quarter percent. Next slide. So what we're seeing there is the $181 a month. Now also, whenever you're looking at mortgages, you've got to look at how long you're going to have that mortgage. And if you were going to have a 30-year fix for 30 years, how much interest are you going to pay to the bank? Because the principal, you know, some of your portion, some of your payment goes to principal, some of it goes to interest. The principal is just going to pay down the balance of your loan, but the interest is actually going, you know, to the bank. That's not going to you. It's not really doing anything for you. So on a 30-year fix, $300,000 loan at four and a quarter percent, the interest paid to the bank over the life of the loan, if you paid just what you were required to pay, didn't pay anything additional towards the principal is going to be slightly over $231,000 over that over those 30 years. Now, with the rates higher at five and a quarter percent, the interest paid is going to be over $296,000 a year. Okay, so a savings, a total savings of over $65,000 just by getting your mortgage at four and a quarter percent 
versus five and a quarter percent. And let's let's be honest, if things are getting better economically, um, people are going to start moving their money into more risky investments, and rates are probably going to go up. So what that probably means is that as things get better with the housing market, um, if prices have hit their bottom, interest rates will probably start to increase at about the same time. So will you be able to time it perfectly? Who knows? But right now, we've had depressed mortgage or, uh, mortgage rates and depressed uh, in, uh, home values, so we're in a great scenario. But right now, you see a $65,000 savings from getting the same mortgage amount over the same term at four and a quarter versus five and a quarter percent. Next slide. So how does that affect someone's purchasing power? So somebody that was getting that $300,000 mortgage and they were close to their maximum borrowing limit at $300,000 when, when rates were at four and a quarter, what happens when rates go up to five and a quarter percent? That, princi that principal and interest payment was $1,474, was $180 a month higher. And now rates are at five and a quarter percent. So that person who started their shopping um, at a $300,000 mortgage when rates were at four and a quarter percent, now they've got to adjust things. Because if they were at the top of their borrowing level, now they're only going to be able to borrow $267,000, okay? Um, so their, their purchasing power in terms of getting a mortgage decreased by $33,000. By no fault of their own, their income didn't change, their debts didn't change, rates went up, and, and their, their borrowing power dropped, okay? So remember, if we're looking in this scenario, if we're looking at a home of 370 to 400 and rates and, and the values of homes drop, let's say they do drop another 5%, then we're looking at you know maybe around $20,000 that, that the values would have dropped. But we've already seen that in interest you would have saved $65,000 over the term of the loan and $180 a month in your monthly payment. So, and we're seeing now we're seeing a decreased purchasing power from that buyer who, who's now, you know, has to look at a smaller home or a, a, a lower priced home. Next one. So that's pretty much just a, something to keep in mind. For someone that's on the fence and is saying, maybe I'll rent another year, prices are going to continue to come down. Yes, but what if rates go up? I'm not saying that they're going to, but what if rates do go up? Just 1%. And remember, historically, in 1981, interest rates were at 16%. Uh, 1997, when I started in this business, they were at 8%. We are in fantasy land right now as far as interest rates. So if you have any questions, want me to run these numbers for you, I can definitely do that for you based on your situation. My phone number is 973-219-4195. Thanks so much and wish you the best of luck.